it's time for a quick nitrogen tip. We just finished our positive pressure test and now we're gonna begin evacuating. But before we do so, I wanna just go over what a nitrogen purge really is. A nitrogen purge is not just filling the system with nitrogen and then evacuating it out. I thought it would be a good time to film a video on actually purging the system. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the ball valve on our refrigerant line. We're gonna open it to our manifold and then we're gonna open our liquid side. Now here's what I do. I come over to my manifold and on my low side, I just open the hose where it connects to my manifold, but I don't open the manifold to the rest of the system. What this is gonna do is now allow nitrogen to flow from our tank into our gauge set, down our gauge set into our line set, up our liquid line, down our vapor line, down our blue hose, and, pur and purge itself out. Before we do anything with our vacuum pump, what we're gonna do is we're gonna let out our nitrogen until we reach zero PSI. This way we don't damage our vacuum pump and we're still flowing the rest of the nitrogen out of the system. All right, so now that we've purged all the nitrogen out of the system, what we're gonna do is we are gonna open up our vacuum line. We're gonna make sure that the ballast on our vacuum pump is open until we get down to under 2000 microns. We're gonna turn it on and we're gonna to begin to vacuum. And that's how we do a nitrogen purge. Now we're gonna do this two or three more times after the system's been put in a vacuum. You know, this would be our triple evacuation. We're gonna close the vacuum pump off, leave it running while we're flowing the nitrogen. You know, it's, it's better just to leave the, the vacuum pump on than turn it off because oil from the vacuum pump could get sucked back in. You fill nitrogen in, go up the system, back down the system. We don't have to fill the system or purge the system with as much nitrogen as we would when we're doing a standing pressure test. This is just enough to flow nitrogen in and push any air moisture that's still trapped down at the end of the line set. It's also really important to do a triple evacuation. If you used any kind of a flush for getting old refrigerant oil out and vacuum it out for a long time to really make sure you get all of that stuff out of the system. Everyone has their own way of doing this. If there's something you would have done different, please let me know in the comments down below.